Hi there, folks. My name's Novoin24, and welcome to a new a new series of episodes of little Microsoft Flight Simulator tips and tricks. And we are getting started with one that is kind of important and very much overlooked. And we're looking at how to change your server in Microsoft Flight Simulator. So a uh, quick little bit of background to this one. So the server that you're on uh, essentially allows you is the server that you connect with and see fellow virtual aviators on. Uh, it also, um, sw swapping between servers is also a known uh, way to be able to troubleshoot any issues of not being able to see your fellow aviators in, uh, in multiplayer. Or, for example, things like uh, live traffic or live weather not displaying correctly in your sim. A quick swap between servers is often recommended uh, and can often resolve any issues you might have. So what we're going to do in this episode, we're going to be showing uh, how to change your servers because it's really, really easy and you can do it at any time. So you can now first thing that we need to look at here is you need to access uh, your menu. So you can either do this from the main menu here or you can do it from the uh, while you're flying. Just hit the escape button or hit pause. So you hit the get into the, the, the menu, your in sim menu on your in-flight menu. Uh, the key part that you need is you need access, you need to see this little icon up the top right here. This is your gamer tag. So this is your name that you're seen with online. This is essentially your online identity that's linked to your Microsoft account and your Xbox account. So all you need to do is be able to see this. And this applies, by the way, folks, this applies equally to PC and Xbox users. You, you, can, you can absolutely join for this one. So all you need to do is to change your server or to see what server you are on, go to you click on your gamer tag, you can see your you know your name, you see your game version, which is also useful, uh, and you can see the status that you have. So whether you're showing as online, offline, busy or away. Uh, and you can change those as well simply by clicking on it and also your server. So your server it shows you, you know, by default it'll show you the, the one that you're on. By default, it'll it'll set you to automatic uh, unless you start until you start picking servers, uh, and then to change your server, it's as simple as click the drop box and choose the server you want to change to. That's it. You don't have to click sign out or anything like that. Just simply click the change server and click back to the menu, and that's it. Now. It can take up to five minutes for the ser your server connection to stabilize. So you will like it will swap the server like almost essentially almost instantaneously. However, for your fellow virtual multiplayer uh, um, aviators to appear in your in sim session, uh, it can take up to five minutes to have all that information loaded in, live weather and the like. So. This, as I said earlier, this is, it's a really, really simple thing. And again, just to, ch to change servers back. Uh, so again, at any time you simply change that, change, click that, and we're done. That's it. That's all there is to it. And as I said, you can do this either from the main menu or from the in-flight paused menu as well. So why would you change servers? So if you're wanting to fly with different groups of people who are having flights on different servers, that's an obvious reason to do it. The other important reason as well is that it's a recommended troubleshooting step uh, to uh, change your server uh, when, if you're having things like, for example, um, if you're having troubles with your live weather not displaying and not loading correctly, uh, swapping servers is a great way to force that reshift. Uh, so to, to force a, a reset of the weather and to have it start uh, arriving into your sim. So there you have it, folks. It is that simple and that easy uh, for enable you to do that one. So I hope you have found this video uh, useful and I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget, as always, to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed these videos and want to see more. And of course, as always, you can catch up with me and all the things I'm up to between videos by finding me on Facebook and on Twitter and on Twitch. Just search Novoing24. And with that, folks, thanks very much for watching. Take care. Safe skies to all. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.